So for the finale, we're going to have chicken nachos. It's very easy to fix and the kids will love it. So I've already shredded one chicken breast. It's my last chicken breast. We started with five, we made four meals. This is the last one. Add this to a bowl. I'm gonna add one taco seasoning pack. Doesn't matter which brand you use. And I'm gonna add half of a jar of salsa. And this jar is 16 ounces, so about eight ounces of salsa. Give this a stir. And we're gonna start building our nachos. I'm gonna cook my nachos in this bowl because it's, it's oven proof. If you don't have an oven proof bowl, you can put it in a pan and put it in the oven and heat it up, or you can put it in the microwave, but this one is microwave and oven proof, but I'm gonna put it in here so I don't have to move it to a different bowl. So I'm gonna start with one layer of tortilla chips. I'm gonna add some of my chicken. some cheese and I've mixed like four cheese blend Italian cheese a little mozzarella you can put whatever you like you can add black olives but I'm gonna add black beans I've already strained these and rinsed them and then I'm gonna start over with my chips chicken. You can keep alternating till all of your ingredients are gone. That's all I'm going to use on this one. This is a small bowl and it's only for, it's going to serve about four people. Cheese. And because I love cheese, I'm gonna put a little bit more cheese for good measure. <laughs> you never get enough cheese. So I'm gonna put this in a 350 oven just until the cheese is melted. And while this is melting, I'm gonna work on some garnishes. While our cheese is melting, I'm gonna cut up a little bit of garnish. I have one jalapeno pepper. This is definitely optional, but it does add a, some heat. If you don't want it to be as hot, you can take the seeds out, okay? Because the seeds are really what's hot in this, so. You can easily get some of the seeds out if you don't want to cut it in half. I'm gonna leave a few seeds, because I, like I say, I like a little bit of heat. And then I'm gonna cut up some spring onions. And these weren't in the pantry, but they were 89 cents for a bunch, so I went ahead and got them. about two, I think it would be plenty. You cut up the stems and all. And I'm gonna use some of these on my uh, chicken noodle soup to garnish it, finish it. So that's it. So this is what's gonna go on top of the nachos. Well, my nachos are out of the oven. You can see the cheese is melted, they're nice and hot. I'm gonna sprinkle a few scallions on it and a few jalapenos. And then I'm gonna finish it with a dollop of sour cream. All right, and bon appetit.